Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add some noise and grunge to a layer using a texture and alpha channels. You can download the project files to see how everything was put together and have files to work with if you don't have any of your own. Let's get started. So we're starting out with a blue paper texture as our background layer and a white vector shape on top of that. So let's say we wanted to add some noise to our vector shape to make it more realistic. One method would be to add a layer mask and use some Photoshop brushes and manually paint on our layer mask to get the effect that we want. Now there's nothing wrong with this method, it just takes a really long time. So I'm going to undo all of those changes and I'm going to open up another paper texture that's included with the project files. The first thing that I'm going to do is add a black and white adjustment layer to take the color out of my image. Then I'm going to add a levels adjustment layer and bring the whites down a bit and the blacks up to give it more contrast. Then I'll press Ctrl A to select my entire image and Ctrl Shift C to copy all of my layers in this document as a single file. So if we go back into our original document, I can now add a layer mask to my vector shape, but I can't paste my texture directly into the layer mask in the layers palette. So what I'm going to do is go into my channels palette and you'll see a vector shape mask layer that's hidden. So if I turn that on and then press Ctrl V to paste my texture in, everything that you see that's pink is going to be transparent or semi-transparent. So all I need to do now is go to my channels palette and turn that off. And you'll see that my texture is now being used as the layer mask on my vector shape layer. Now I can move my vector shape around and the texture moves with it. I can also come over to my layers palette and click this link icon to unlink the vector shape and the texture. So I can move the texture by itself, or I can select the vector shape and move that without affecting the texture position. I can also come back in and change the color of my vector shape and make any other changes that I need to. Alpha channels make it super easy to use textures as layer masks, which saves a lot of time when compared to painting them in manually, and it usually looks better anyways. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.